for five days we were just chatting and on the fifth day in my head i'm like are we not making the film <laughs> there were times she would come and she would just do and i would be like we would have been like what's going on after some hours he was like you should cast her you know as urmila <laughs> she's giving me very urmila vibes uske liye mujhe golden kela mila tha all of us at some level can relate to the pain i feel i'm really really lucky and all thanks to this woman sitting here in front of me so here we're talking to the women of kala hello women of kala hi <laughs> talk to me about working with women hods women actors and creating this community of uh, female storytellers so i think uh, any storyteller all of us uh, would like to be in that wonderful space ki jab koi hamare gender ko hamare kaam ke pehle na lagaye when we are so many of us that it's not a talking point anymore because biology has nothing to do with intellect correct so i always set out to get the most talented person for the job women are so bloody talented you know <laughs> so and i'm drawn to them because it's like uh, uh, being in conversation with the goddess on a daily basis over coffee so i love doing that again i don't set out to say ki acha female oriented kuch banate hain aisa nahi hai it's just that i know that landscape because i belong to it uh, i happen to be a woman and it's familiar to me like i'm punjabi yeah. and i grew up in cantonments तो उसी तरह बींग अ वुमन मुझे समझ आता है एंड देन आई एम फॉर्चुनेट इनफ टू हानस टैलेंट लाइक दिस इज माई सेकेंड आउटिंग विद तृप्ति एंड शी इज माई बेबी गर्ल एंड शी इज इनक्रेडिबल एज आई बिलीव एंड एंड बुलबुल फैंस गिव मी अच्छे and then this time i it's like uh, i got a double bonanza yeah. you know uh swastika mukherjee <laughs> she is incredible so i had seen her in patal lok and she's we all know she's gorgeous but to me that secondary i met her and it's like she was everything that a powerful woman is in her real life you know she is a uh, beautiful strong um, flawed mm -hmm. yes, and i love that about her and uh, a curious little uh, detail that when she smiled when she said hi to me i got goose flesh because she and tripti have the same tooth that is crooked <laughs> so i was like okay they are mother and daughter this works out great yeah. um trailer out ho chuka hai aur trailer mein we've seen a jhalak of urmila and what she is like urmila manjushri is character ko play karne ke liye you must have had to go into like a weird like cuz she's very she's a cruel character like a dark space how did you get into the skin of becoming uh, this person i don't think she is cruel that is uh, my understanding of urmila uh, i think she is just as normal and uh, human as we are with vulnerabilities and you know her own struggles we as a society kind of uh, put these labels that somebody is you know not so affectionate towards her child means she is like a bad mother or someone is not doing her uh, responsibilities you know taking the duties of a perfect mother is supposed to do so she is not the right one and i know it feels weird because we actors get this question a lot that how have you you know like uh, gotten into the skin of the character and how much homework you have done and you know how what you have worked but i am not somebody who does all of that <laughs> yeah i am um, she's I, just talented guys she's just woke up like this guys <laughs> no i think i i am not somebody who is extremely you know comfortable with workshops and uh, too much uh, of readings and i don't know like you sit for hours and do these exercises because so much change where you are when you're on the floor and on the set like i'm like this and talking if i get into my clothes and i am that uh, character my head space only changes and of course um, when i first met anvita for 5 days we were just chatting and on the 5th day in my head i'm like 
are we not making the film because she is not talking about the film she has not even given me the script and then i asked her that anvita are you going to give me something to read yeah. it's been 5 days so she said yeah the homework is over now you can read it so fully all those conversations over coffee and other uh, interesting liquids what <laughs> what landed up happening was on set i said remember we spoke about that she said yeah yeah so this is that moment that you be like you manipulated me <laughs> what a great process speaking of tripti yeah. right I this is now your third feature and in all the three features you are playing women who uh, uh, some shade of the other who get to learn the truth of the world by walking through fire or like yeah. being thrown into the deep end in some shape form or the other uh, what draws you to uh, characters like this and what drew you to kala specifically um kala i said yes to kala obviously because it's anvita that's film and yes. i don't think i can ever say no to her and also kya passport rakha hua hai tumhara passport rakha hua hai sab kuch and i just feel like there's this uh, very famous uh, author Daphne du Maurier I read her books a lot and it's her books are all about you know the internal journeys of of her characters and yeah. that's exactly how I felt when I read Kala it was you know so interesting yet challenging at the same time and what you said is like something that all of us actually have to go through in life true right all of us have to um, you know face problems and we we you know and it's it's good that we are making films like that and we are showing flawed, flawed characters in our movies and not portraying women as okay achhi ladki hone chahiye tabhi ja ke she is going to be a heroine of the film no that's not right you have to show that women can be flawed and you have to appreciate it if a woman is owning up to her flaws and um, i personally feel drawn towards <laughs> flawed characters because i feel they're more relatable but uh, anvita you've written for many a film like that uh, yeah. songs now anvita has written songs like chingam chabake <laughs> and a very famous called song called two was also penned you can come up with the nicer words also <laughs> ishq wala <I> love you uske liye mujhe golden kela mila tha we all see that clip of you receiving the award what a what a freaking sport but likhti jab aap filme likhti hain jab aap kahaniyan likhti hain they are not like the lyrics that have come from your pen for many many years uh where does the inspiration for kala come from what drew you towards writing the story and like setting it in like the era of 30s and 40s which is like not even a parents like a grandparents when a grandparents were probably teenagers so yeah my stories and my songs for other people is like it's their vision right so i'm 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 hired to do a job i try to do the best possible uh way of it's their story their protagonist but uh, my girls my daughters so uh, when she walked in um my kala uh, quietly she belonged she carried her world with her so i didn't uh, take her to the 1930s and 40s she came to me like that first cobwebs float in your head okay disjointed cobwebs uh, which are your st- story somewhere your story is coming to you so this thing of about a mother and daughter a complex relationship we are always talking about fathers and sons and fathers and mothers and you know we need to talk about complicated complex mother daughter relationships and it so happened that um, during that time i met vishal dilani who's a friend of mine for coffee and we were having a random conversation about gaane and purane gaane and he was singing some old songs for me so i think that conversation about the music of the 30s and the 40s and my mother and daughter kind of just it just started singing you yeah. know it just felt right that they belong to this world and i understand this world i'm a lyricist mujhe ye duniya samajh aati hai so somehow it just happened she walked in with the, with that little swish to her hair this yeah. old sari and in an old recording studio and i was like okay oh that's who you are that's where you belong So as like you said in interviews that vanity is not your thing when you're playing a character you don't care about how she's looking and like there should be perfect makeup and clothes and things like that but urmila is very glamorous she But you didn't but anvita only kept on telling me you're not looking enough barbad <laughs> for every scene she was like you're not looking barbad and i used to look at siddharth and say my hair is all over my all over the place i haven't i have no makeup i have got blisters on my lips 
what uh, what more barbar do you want me to be and that was anvita's favorite uh, word you know She's not was, looking enough barbar there was a day when i actually got so annoyed with the two of them sitting over there looking just stunning yeah. so i actually got so angry i was like they are not listening to me now <laughs> they are just like getting <laughs> out of town bigad gaye hain bacche so i have gone and got wet wipes one in each hand and i've said what have you done and then wiped their faces and there was no makeup and i was like <laughs> yeah can't so be helped <laughs> I I loved the way I love the way I look in the film yeah. and uh, I think um, we don't get to look like that in our in our real lives in real space and uh, I think it's a it's a great opportunity for us actors to live lives that is not ours and to look the way that we can never like look and live their lives also speaking of good bad and ugly like what kala goes through in this film is you've had an experience of that in your life with the paps and like the constant media attention and speculation private life mein kya chal raha hai yahan kya chal raha hai and all of that so did you connect with the script on that level as well when it when she finally after 5 days told you ki kahani kya hai uh i think since she asked me a lot of like not not like taking an interview kind of asking me about personal questions but it yeah. it just came up in conversations and i could uh, feel at home and at ease and comfortable enough for you know to share share my own own experiences and own thoughts uh, about it i think we can we all of us at some level can relate to the pain of another character even if we are seeing them on screen we feel bad because we can relate to the pain it's not because somebody is crying amazingly on screen that it connects with us somehow we always can relate or we remember something that has happened to us on a you know on the same same kind of emotional level there there's a lot of thing that she is going through that i can connect with and lot of thing that urmila goes through that i can connect with as well you becoming kala kala is not just a singer performer she's a media person a celebrity and she's hounded constantly maybe she's a butterfly maybe she's a moth we don't know i can't wait for you to watch the film you guys like we'll we'll discuss this afterwards but talk to me about becoming one with this character getting inside i'm so sorry to be using this cliche but getting in the skin of the character i'm so sorry swastika never again never after today um so um anvita has given i've done two films with her and she's given me this very cool um, you know tool to get into the skin of the character where we um, spend a lot of time like i'm so sorry but <laughs> workshops are the only thing that they, they work for me a lot and i can't uh, her, hers her workshops are different than the usual how, how, usual how are ones different? i'll tell you because <laughs> in her workshops we never uh focus on the scenes like we never take the script acha theek hai abhi baitho abhi ye scene kaise karoge karke dikhao that never happens on her workshops we sit and we uh build a person from the very beginning like um so for example like when i was 5 years old i remember what i did and what how my childhood was right so we build that person from the age of 5 to the age the 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 age given in the script and then we build her life we build her experiences and uh, when you do that you know the person in and out you know the insecurities this person has you know the good qualities of the person yeah i think you she works more the on the on the subtext and the yeah. script and the life that she's not showing in the film yeah in fact um, there was like one time i asked her i said can we anvita can we please sit and read the script it's been so many days and i don't know how i am going to be delivering my lines and she's like what lines <laughs> like I don't know I just need to find her voice and she's like okay chalo let's do the lines and we started reading the script and I was only saying sorry mama okay thank you and she's like now you now are you happy now she's like now read what you've written on the other side of the script so we had this entire subtext written on the blank page and she's like these are your dialogues and you're not going to be saying them this is all happening inside and that is what you know makes it interesting I feel I feel that I'm truly truly blessed that I'm getting to play characters like Leela, Bulbul or Kala and yeah like I feel I'm really really lucky and all thanks to this woman sitting here in front of me No I know this is a women of Kala panel but we have to talk about Babel Khan So here's the thing I didn't cast him because he's Babel I I cast him because uh he was the right Jagan you know so i was actually auditioning people for it was more than 3 months i'd auditioned a lot of around more than 40 people and uh, just not finding jagan when my da 
she uh, she mentioned that you know my friend babel he's right now in india i said uh, i said wasn't he studying cinematography so she says he is but he's here maybe you could because you're looking for this this age this kind and i think he will be okay with acting so uh, casting bay my casting agency they auditioned him so i have chosen him on the basis of his audition i saw his audition then i auditioned him and it was only then that he got cast as jagan and it's because he is good because he has presence and it's not his dna or his bloodline that introduction yeah again i i know it sounds like a freaking broken record here but you have to see the film that introduction scene of his you y'all 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 watch the film watch the film and talk about it so asika please talk to me about working with babel because you have a lot of scenes with him a lot of time you're spending with him on i think it was cool it was cool yeah. he's a cool kid yeah he was it was cool and uh, he has this energy which we all need to needed to tell him that calm down zarurat nahi hai shant ho ke baith jao you know and i had met him at uh, clean slate office and i didn't know that i was doing the film because i had just gone to meet anvita and i didn't know that he was also in the film he was already in the film and uh, after some hours he was like uh, anvita ma'am can i tell you something so she said ha bolo you should cast her you know as urmila she's giving me very urmila vibes yeah so anvita is like yeah that is why she is here and she had no expression on her face like with a dead pan the first time i felt my age i was like exhausted just watching him lot of energy uh wants to learn and uh, very vibrant um you have to de-age yourself in this film quite a bit right what is the youngest you we see kala on screen when um, you are playing her 19 19 right? yeah. and then the oldest old, it's 27 27 oh, okay. 27 yeah so nearly 30 from 19 yeah. so how yeah. as an actor what is your process to become a 19 year old on screen uh there's no process to you know look a certain age i think as i told you earlier we just uh, talk about the person and that's about it inside her she was 19 because like she spoke about the prep that she became this girl so we would on set only do cue cards mm. you know i would mention that time when she felt like that and she would inside her eyes would become clear and she would become a young girl i would mention just one word which would remind her of that day so i would tell her it's that day and she would change that's actually true like um, as i told you that the entire page was filled with subtext and she would just come to me and she would be like you remember uh we spoke up i i can't use the terms here and i'm so sorry yes, but sir. she would just say the word and i would be like okay this is what i have to do like and i would just say bro- broken or the door uh, yeah. you know i would just give her one word yeah. and she would know and there were times she would come and she would just do and i would be like uh, i wanted to ask you why have you set it up in the hills so the childhood home is the house of oppression and the adulthood home is the house of delirium okay because oppression is the pathology and the result is delirium right oppression i just said i felt you know how mountain houses it's cold it's it's not friendly it's hard to live there harsh. it's harsh it's cold and brutal just i could just see it snowing on her you know i just felt that the, she it's snowing on kala all the time regardless of where in the world she is so she carries her childhood with her so Kala is releasing on Netflix. Thank you, ladies, for talking to us today. Thank you, Anvita, Swastika, Tripti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.